All right, well, today is another day. I got a lovely package just in time. It's Saturday, we're going riding on Sunday. Ben Nicholson from First Track Moto came through clutch, but I'm got my clutch weight or traction disc from Mitigator and the S3 brake spring that I was really looking forward to trying this weekend. And they're here and I got a couple hours before I have to go to a wedding and that's gonna be all night. And then we're gonna ride an early Sunday morning cause Troy likes to leave nice and early. Can't blame a boy, but I gotta try to get this done now. And of course my GoPro is being a pain in the butt. So we're filming on the phone, but here we go. Let's get this thing. So here's what we got after double wrapped, you know, wrap it twice. Uh, we got our S3 fancy schmancy brake spring jobby and the mitigator 340 gram clutch weight traction disc assembly. This should help slow this motor down, take a little bit of the snappiness out of it because it's a freaking monster and help uh, help me get more traction instead of just smoking the back tire because of course this thing is a little tired and I want to put a moose in it but eventually we'll get there so this sweet little jitney goes right in here gets rid of that and by rights you can get rid of your spring here too on top of it so I have to take this apart to really you know well not really, but you got to take this out. I'm going to change my oil while I'm at it because this has got to come off. So screw it. We're changing the oil and we're going to throw the clutch disc, clutch weight, traction disc assembly and the S3 brake spring on it. Let's go. All right. So we got the oil draining. I got the bike laid over and took all the bolts out of the clutch cover. Now we're gonna pop that bad Larry off. All right, looking good. O-ring's all good. I got another one on the way, but it ain't gonna be here in time, so screw it. We are going to reuse it. And then this, boop, and we'll be good. All right, so remember, when you're taking this apart, all these bolts are here, right? This spring, by rights, this is like a, what do they call that? A Belleville spring or something. It's like a pressure plate, right? I wanna make sure we loosen them up in a star pattern. And then we put it back together the same, about, about the same way. I wanna notice here that my bolt was in number two spot. So when we take this off, we put it all back together the same darn way, right? This is a pain in the butt, but, but, but. So, got it all set up in the number two spot. Now, I like to Loctite anything that goes in an oil bath. So I'm gonna clean all these bolts up and I'm gonna Loctite them first, a little bit of blue Loctite, and then we'll plop it in here and torque it all up. All right, so a little bit of blue Loctite, we'll plop them in. We're gonna get them all started first before we go snugging anything down. And then we torque it. We wanna make sure, torque it. We wanna make sure we're doing some crisscross applesauce stuff while we're snugging down. All right, we'll T handle, how you doing? All right, we got them all torqued down to about six foot pounds. Little eight millimeter head bolts. And all right, looks like we got clearance. I was a little concerned that it was gonna be too tall, but everything fits. The bolts are plenty long enough. And uh, yeah, so now we'll get this all tightened up. We'll get everything swapped out here. This is, it's been like two and a half minutes. We're doing good. All right, so we're getting rid of this spring. We got 
pull that apart, right? We unbolted the linkage here to the rear brake master cylinder. And what we see here is we got a double nut job. We're gonna break it apart with the two 10 mils. We are gonna send this bad Larry, it's treaded. We're gonna send this bad Larry down as our first spring. And then we're gonna boop, put that over. And that, this here is gonna be our new rear brake spring. Now this is supposed to give you wicked brake feel on your rear brake lever. Alrighty. So, retreaded that, smushed it nice and tight. Now we'll boop that old guy in there and we'll send that up in the hole if I had another hand. <laughs> All right, so just like that, we got the old spring out, we got the new one in. Helps if you set this a little loose, your, your pedal adjuster height, set that a little loose so you can get this guy in there. Now, I like to run my pedal a little lower, because again, because of my big ass boots, I like to run this a little lower. So I'm gonna set this up. But you can see here, that's rear brake action. So, sweet, there we go. So we got the sweet Motion Pro Pro Funnel, and it is magnetized to my expansion chamber. We're going to carefully move that. We're gonna put 800 milliliters back in the engine before I forget, because I would most definitely forget. All right guys, this is what I'm using for the gear case oil, a little 1550 AMS oil. I don't know, everybody's got opinions. Opinions are like assholes, you know the saying. So, she's full. Ooh, watch that damn ring. Let's fire it up, make sure I'm in neutral. Yep. <laughs> Okay guys, final thoughts. Just need to make a little adjustment on the rear brake spring. Yeah, I don't like where it's engaging. I'm gonna bring it up so it engages a little higher. But that clutch weight, holy smokes. I think we can got it low enough to like count the RPM as it's chug-a-lugging up the hill. Like this is not your dad's two stroke. Like, this thing is an absolute monster. Love it. So hopefully tomorrow, it's a good day. We'll see what happens. But for now, that's it, man. Mitigator clutch, flywheel, clutch weight, traction disc, 340 gram, and the S3 brake spring install. Sweet.